As your shoulder heals, you will need to wear a shoulder abduction sling to support and protect it. Abduction refers to moving your arm away from the side of your body, movement that puts stress on your shoulder. The sling is designed to prevent this movement. You will need help putting the sling on and taking it off. Be sure your healthcare team has shown you and your caregiver how to do this. Shoulder abduction slings are available from several manufacturers. We'll demonstrate how to put on this model. A pillow is attached to the sling to hold your arm the proper distance from your body. One strap on the sling goes around your waist. Another goes around your neck. Shorter straps are attached by Velcro to help keep your arm in the sling. To remove the sling, your helper removes the thumb strap, then the strap holding the sling closed. Your helper unbuckles the waist strap. Hold the hand of your healing arm to support that arm. Keep the muscles in your healing shoulder and arm relaxed. Your helper releases the Velcro on the shoulder strap to loosen it, then unbuckles the strap. Keep holding your arm so it doesn't drop. Bend forward slowly, still holding the hand of your healing arm. Straighten your healing arm at the elbow and let it dangle. Your helper then removes the sling. Now we'll demonstrate how to put on the sling. Sit or stand, holding your healing arm against your body. Bend forward, lowering your arm and letting it dangle. If you are sitting, dangle your arm between your legs. Do not dangle your arm to the side. Your helper places the sling around your arm. Grasp your hand and gently bend your healing arm at the elbow as you straighten up. Keep your healing shoulder and arm relaxed. Let the other arm do the work. Keep the pillow snug against your body. Keep the elbow of your healing arm in front of your body. Your wrist should be at the midline of your body. There's a short strap with a fastener attached. Your helper puts this through the plastic rings on the open end of the sling and attaches the Velcro to hold the sling closed. He or she attaches another short strap to close the sling around your arm in the middle. Your helper puts the shoulder strap around your neck. Your helper fastens the strap to the clasp on the sling then adjusts the strap to support your arm in the proper position and fastens it with Velcro. The strap needs to be tight across the back of your neck to support your shoulder. It's a common mistake to have the strap too loose. That may feel more comfortable, but it doesn't support your shoulder properly. Your arm should be bent at the elbow at a right angle. This takes stress off the shoulder muscles. Now your helper loops the waistband around your back and fastens the clasp to adjust it. He or she adjusts it for a snug fit. This helps keep your wrist at the midline of your body. Finally, your helper attaches a short, thin strap under your thumb. This helps keep your arm in the sling. Your elbow should be in front of your body. Your arm should be bent slightly upwards. Your wrist should be at the midline of your body. Both the shoulder and wrist strap should be snug enough to hold your arm firmly in position. Keep your arm and shoulder relaxed. As you move, the sling might need to be readjusted. Immediately loosen the straps if your arm or hand begins to tingle or feel numb, or if the skin on your hand or arm changes color. It's very important to wear the shoulder abduction sling as long as your surgeon tells you to. Wearing the sling greatly helps with the healing of your shoulder. When you sit, put folded towels behind your elbow to keep it forward. When you lie down, use folded towels to keep your elbow forward. Your physical therapist may give you instructions for using a simpler type of sling when showering. Ask your healthcare provider any questions you have about how to safely put on and remove your shoulder abduction sling.